Hi everyone, um, this video is going to show you how you can set up a masonry style gallery um, like on this page right here. So you can see that the images are displayed at different heights and widths and it just creates this um, kind of Pinterest style um, grid here. And then when you click on each of the photos it will display the photo larger and then you can either click to scroll through the photos or just arrow through on your keyboard to view them at a larger size. So to set this up um, we are going to need to make sure that um, the Jetpack uh, plugin is installed so make sure you um, install that. So to do that you would just go to plugins add new um, and then you would type in Jetpack, or it's right here. Um, if you don't have it installed yet, you would want to click this Install Now button on the thing, and then just make sure that's activated. Um, to get it fully activated, you're going to need to go through a couple other steps. You have to connect it to WordPress.com, which is different than WordPress.org. So um, just make sure that you click the button to connect it and um, you would go to Jetpack and if you're not connected there would be a big banner up here asking you to connect to WordPress.com. So make sure you follow those steps and then once it is connected then we can go through and um, add in the support for the masonry style gallery. So I'm going to assume right now that you've connected to WordPress.com and you're all ready to go. And you have all these different options that you can um, turn on or off with Jetpack. So I'm just going to scroll down here and click on see the other 28 Jetpack features which is going to give me a full list of everything that Jetpack offers. So we need to turn on two things for the masonry style gallery and that's going to be carousel and if we scroll down here, tiled galleries. So if it's not active, mine's active right now, but if it wasn't active, you would just click on the active link or activate link here. And then do the same for carousel up top. Now I'm going to show you how you can add that gallery to the page. So click on pages and then click on add new. And this is going to um, you know, be you're going to make a new page just like you would, and you would type in the title of whatever you want your page to be called. So let's say that I'm making a gallery to showcase my wedding photography. I would just type in wedding photography right here. And then to add in that gallery, I would click in this post editor box here, and then click on the add media link. From there, I'm going to click on create gallery. And then I'm either going to um, add in my photos, um, that I have already in my media library or I can click on the upload files button and upload them directly from my computer. I'm just going to toggle back to the media library and select some of the ones that I already have um, chosen here. So I'm just going to start selecting my photos, the ones that I want displayed, and once I have them all selected I'm going to click on the blue create new gallery button in the right hand bottom corner. If I want to rearrange my images, I would just click on one, um, keep my finger held down on um, the mouse or uh, the, the keypad, whatever you use, um, the touchpad, I mean, and then I can just drag and drop it into place. Maybe I want this one up here. Whatever kind of looks good um, is what I'm going to want to create here. And then just make sure that you come over here and change your gallery settings. So for gallery settings, I'm going to change a link to, to media file. And I can change how many columns I want as well. I'm going to leave this at three. For size, I am going to use full size. And then for type, um, you can, you, there are other options here that Jetpack, um, <clears throat> brings to the table. But for that masonry style gallery, I'm going to use tiled mosaic. And once that's all set, um, just click on the blue insert gallery button and you can see here that the gallery is inserted. Now, um, to see what this looks like on your real site, I'm just going to click on the preview button and you can see here that it is displayed in that masonry style gallery. And there is our pop-up carousel scrolling through. So that's all you need to do and then just make sure that you publish the page um, and you are all set.